sweet black baby sing sweet I like to go down by the water. It ain't that blue like it is in the pictures. We know our but that's name. all right. More of a we green color. And water, it sure is an envious thing. Water loves your mama more than you do. And it has a way with words. It has plans for you. It's got gravity and it wants to teach you to swim. As envious it be, you couldn't possibly think it was just going to relinquish you. Don't dip your toes. Don't deep dive. The journey back above sea level is more a battle than anything. And that water, it wants war. Girl, you gonna let that water have control? My name is Daisy L. Hill Lewis Simmons. I was born in the month of August 1946. I married my high school love, Calvin, February 1965, while he was home visiting his parents, Falkland. We moved to Cleveland the following day. As a black girl growing during the 40s and 50s, it was like any other era. Children were full of laughter and love and fun. Home was a wonderful place to be. Everyone worked the farm as they got old enough. Meal time, everyone ate together. The parents love and discipline was always present. If you're white, you're right. If you're yellow, you're mellow. If you're black, stand back, way back. We had to walk to school about five miles a day. White kids riding the bus. Cold, holes in my socks. I got married. I didn't have a very good marriage. My first marriage was awful. I had a son. Then when I really, really realized what I really wanted to be after I divorced him and got married my second husband, which was a policeman. And I thought that once you get married, your life would be different, but it wasn't like that. I realized that um, I didn't have to have a man. I was working at a drugstore, bringing home $60 every two weeks. And today, 85 years old, I still have my home. Don't have, don't have no bills. Don't owe nobody nothing. Don't owe nobody nothing. I'm debt free. And I live comfortable, very comfortable. My name is Sherry Coleman. I was born in February of 1973. I became a mother at the age of 16. Becoming a mother at that young age has taught me to work. I went to nursing school several months after I had my first child. I worked from the age of 16 to now. I haven't stopped working. So being an African-American woman, showing pride in my work and raising children was fundamental. For my daughters, I always hope that they will live a very happy life. I will hope that they would be able to do and experience as much as possible, to love with their whole heart, to find the good in every obstacle that comes up and to stay together as friends, as family. The Black Woman Task. Daily Resilience. Black women armored with grace 
Black girl, your song is too full to fall on deaf ears. I hear you. Creative minds, fearless and fruitful in our delivery of love. Elegant and kick ass all in one. Black woman once forgotten never to be left behind again. Black woman waiting. The waters are troubled, but we are not fearful. Our strength lies in blackness. Every day we wear it like braids down our backs. Pay attention to the entirety of yourself. Make sure you're still full. See that bend all dressed in white. God's a gone to trouble the water. Looks like the bend of the Israelites. God's a gone to trouble the water. Wait in the water.